Okay, good afternoon. I'm Captain Jay Struble with the Merced Police Department. I'm joined here today with Detective Haygood, Detective Radke, and Detective Penninger. As many of you already know, on October 26th, which was yesterday about 6.47 p.m., the Merced Police Department responded to a call of a stolen vehicle in the 400 block of West 27th. Unfortunately, this is no common uh, stolen vehicle. There was a three-year-old infant child in the vehicle. Um, the Merced Police Department, along with California Highway Patrol, and the Chowchilla Police Department worked diligently in locating the child who was returned unharmed to her family late last night. There was an Amber Alert issued at approximately 8 o'clock last night and at approximately 8.30 the Chowchilla Police Department received a phone call of a possible vehicle sighting in the area of Robertson Boulevard and Highway 99 in Chowchilla. Responded out to the scene, located the vehicle with the child still inside. The child was unharmed and returned back to her family later last night. 8.15 to 8.30, Detective Penninger received a call from the Chowchilla Police Department that they were out with a possible subject matching the very vague description we had of our suspect from last night. Officer, or I'm sorry, Detective Penninger and Detective Radke went down to Chowchilla, met with the Chowchilla Police Department and were able to bring our, ultimately our suspect back to Merced. Um, the Chowchilla Police Department's gotta be credited with finding this individual because it was actually an off-duty Chowchilla police officer that had worked last night, but was on his way home that saw the subject, Mr. Singh, who's pictured here to my right, in the area where the vehicle was actually left last night. Um, Detective Penninger and Detective Radke brought Mr. Singh back to Merced and upon questioning Mr. Singh, he confessed to the entire incident. Um, during the interview with Mr. Singh, he gave us specific details relating to what had occurred with the vehicle and how certain things were. So we're very confident that Mr. Singh is the only individual that we're looking for right now. He has since been arrested and booked in Merced County Jail on charges of kidnapping, carjacking, um, auto theft, possession of stolen property, and basically cruelty to a child for leaving the child abandoned. Um, he did confess to everything, and at this point we're deeming the case is closed. There's a great thanks needs to come out from the Merced Police Department to both the California Highway Patrol and Chowchilla Police Department, as well as the men and women in the Merced Police Department that worked diligently last night we had roughly 30 officers respond in off duty to assist in locating the three-year-old juvenile. The three detectives here to my left have worked countless hours into the early this morning and then early this morning to bring this case to a close, which fortunately for the child and the family had the best ending that it could given the circumstances. The child has returned home safe and she is now back with her family. Any questions? We do not believe he had any intentions to harm the child. We don't believe he actually initially knew the child was in the vehicle, but within, I would estimate within 30 seconds, he realized the child was in the vehicle. But I don't believe his intent was to harm the child or even take the child. His intent was to take the car. And about how long was the child in the car when he uh, we're estimating approximately an hour and 20 minutes to an hour and 30 minutes. The child was in the car unattended. And that's where we stem to the uh, child endangerment charges for leaving the child in the car. So when he abandoned the car at the Chevron station, did he uh, take off on foot or was somebody waiting for him? We believe he left on foot because he was located this morning in the same vicinity of where the vehicle was located last night. And is he from Chowchilla? What made him stop it? What made him stop? I couldn't tell you that. Um, he was on his way from Richmond to Fresno. And there was an altercation with his transportation that he was left in Merced. And again, it was a crime of opportunity. He was walking down the street, cars running, gets in the car and is gonna drive back to Fresno. Unbeknownst to him at the initial onset, there was a three-year-old in the car, but he quickly realized the three-year-old is in the car. 
We believe he's from Richmond and or Fresno. You said there's a carjacking um, charge. Is that the taking of the car? Did it involve any kind of a violence at all? It didn't involve any physical violence, but the mother chased after the car, yelling and screaming, trying to get the car to stop. So that's where we're coming up with the carjacking uh, violation. First and last name I couldn't hear you, I'm sorry. First and last name and age of suspect. His name is, last name is Hardev. It's H-A-R-D-E-V. First name is Singh, it's S-I-N-G-H, and he's 34 years old. Uh, that we have. It's California driver's license says Richmond. His driver's license says Richmond. We haven't. Uh, we talked to them late last night. We were going to reach out to them for the press conference, but they are still emotionally dealing with the situation. So we thought it would be best for them to go ahead and remain at home. She's, she's in good condition though, right? She wasn't harmed like you said. She's physically in good condition. Right. Last night when uh, she arrived home, she was safe. Um, she was eating candy and was more than happy to see both mom and dad. They were checked, she was checked out in Chowchilla by I'm not sure what their ambulance company is, whatever's in Chowchilla. Um, I don't know exactly what his criminal history is. I haven't looked at his criminal history to see what, if he has anything prior to this.